Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could make it. This is going to be uh, my planner setup for the month of November. I'm so excited to film this. I love setting up a new planner. It's just it's just so exciting to like set up a new structure and change into something a little bit different. It's like getting a new outfit. Uh, well, your plan it's like your planner gets a new outfit. <laughs> And yeah, so if you're interested in seeing me set up my mega happy planner for the month of November, I have seven different happy planners that I use to set up this baby here. She is Miss Cassiopeia. Um, just keep on watching. All right, so it's time to set up my happy planner for the month of November. How is your November going? What are you up to this month? Let your girl know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your plans for the coming month. I can't believe that we're two months out from 2022. Um, I always love this time of the year. I love being cozy. I love the holidays. I love setting up my house to look all cute and in season cannot wait to get the, uh, the Christmas decorations out. I cannot wait. So the first thing I'm going to do is it's time to change this cover. I think I'm going to keep the gold discs, but I am, um, I, I kind of want to change up my cover. I've had this for two months now and I love it, but I want to change to something different. And I'm thinking of changing, um, the cover to this beautiful cover here, which is from one of the Happy Planners fitness um, planners. And I think it's just so, so stunning. I love when Happy Planner uses like realistic photography and then kind of like adds some like fun elements like the foil and like the words around her. I think this is going to be perfect for November. I've been kind of really like trying to be more like fit and health conscious. So this is going to kind of motivate me um, to keep on that. So, all right. So let's kind of move this over here. And I think I'm going to keep my cover page for now because I, I still really like it. I kind of want to do like a one that's a little bit more fall themed but I haven't had time to do uh, any new cover pages. So I'm gonna keep this cover page. I'm gonna keep the calendar. I'm gonna keep the yearly page. Um, I'll keep the scrapbook paper. And then I'm gonna keep the folders with the stationary sheets, stickers, coloring sheets, stickers, and notes. Well, actually, I'm gonna take out these notes. I don't think I need them anymore, but I'm going to leave the scrapbook paper in here and I'm going to take out this little sticker sheet because I'm just going to put it somewhere else. And then I'm going to look what's in here. Um, let's pull out what's in this uh, envelope. I kind of want to like see what's in here. <laughs> so I just have some stickers. Let's see some bee stickers, some pug stickers, and I might, I might put these somewhere else. I have like a sticker storage book that I think would be great um, to put those in. This is so cute, this little like Smokey the Bear <laughs> thing. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if I want to keep stickers in this envelope. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe what I could do is I could put some of these stickers in here, like these sticker sheets. I have like a bunch of these sticker sheets um, that I could that I could pop in here. Yeah, maybe they barely, they almost like they don't fit. They pop over the edge just a little bit. Ooh, that might be an issue. They do pop over the edge. I'm gonna leave this little envelope blank for now. I'm not sure exactly how I want to use it yet. I used to put photos in them. Maybe I'll keep on doing that, but I feel like I could find a better use for this. Anyways. We have more scrapbook paper. I'm gonna keep my pumpkin everything spread here. I'm gonna keep my sticky note dashboard, my happy planner solar system, my fall bucket list. That's all gonna stay through fall. And then we have um, some daily agenda sheets. I'm gonna keep these in here. Well, I'm gonna take out these two because I have used them, but 
this one I set up a daily agenda sheet on the back of this daily agenda like sheet because it just has plain grid paper on the back and I still can use those so yeah so these pages here um, because I use the back which is just plain grid paper I use these to set up daily agenda sheets whenever I need to I'll just leave these three in here for now and then I'll leave the scrapbook divider and this is where we can start switching out uh, planners. Okay, so let's pull this out here. So this little skinny mini is from this skinny mini right here and let's pop it back into where it's from this is my prayer planner i write down all of my prayers sometimes i'll write down affirmations or gratitude statements but i've been really enjoying it for prayer lately and i'm gonna grab the month of november wow i can't believe i'm almost done with this planner and i'm gonna pop it into the section here there we go and i'm gonna grab my bookmark and pop it into the first week of november it is currently the fourth of november and i haven't even set up my entire planner which is fine it happens sometimes so there we go we have a fresh new month in there i'm super excited about that and then i just have my sleep uh, sleep logs and I don't need to change anything there and then we have my second planner section which is my academic section so it's time to pull this baby out so I'm gonna take off my paper clips um, I clip this like monthly overview for October to the scrapbook paper because that way like I can like cover this and also cover the blank side of the scrapbook paper and so it just goes seamlessly to the monthly overview but I'm going to pull out um, the month of October. So that is all of these pages here. Oof. Then we have my bookmark. Um, and then this is the last page. And so these pages come from this particular planner. This is the undated Mickey Mouse vertical planner. And let's see, let's get to, uh, here we go. This is the month of November. So I'm gonna slide these pages back into the planner where they came from. I love this um, planner so much because it has this wonderful to-do list in the sidebar and this grid section as well. And I don't use the grid section as much as I use the to-do list here, but I, I originally got like another planner to be my academic planner. It was also a Mickey Mouse one and it was also a vertical, but it just had like lines, like dotted lines on the sidebar. And then I saw this one and I was like, oh my God, that's perfect. So I ended up getting this one. All right, so now that the month of October is back into this planner, I can pull for the month of November. And I've actually already gone and set up my uh, November because the week started and because I really needed my planner to like figure out what the heck I was doing in terms of my academics. Um, I already set it up, so it's perfect. So then I can just slide it in here. And... This is the uh, divider that I ended up picking. Because this planner is undated, I can just pick whatever month I want and, um, and use it. And actually, um, this divider here is not even from this planner. It's actually from a six month extension pack um, that used, that was a vertical style, but it used like this type of sidebar here with the lines and I really wanted the one with the to-do list. So I ended up just grabbing this divider and then using um, these the, the weekly pages. And because the monthly calendar is exactly the same in that extension pack as it was in this planner, um, you can't even tell that these two pages are, com are from different planners here. And I totally forgot that I need to grab the monthly overview page. So this page here. That's something I don't, like, it always kind of annoys me is that I have to grab um, the last week in the previous month because it has the monthly overview for the next month 
on it. But that's why I use these paper clips here and I just clip it together and then we're good to go. So that way it goes straight into the monthly overview and then I already set up my November overview or my November monthly calendar. And then this is the current week here. I used some woodland stickers and I love how it turned out. And I've already started up, I mean, I've already set up or started to set up next week. And then I've dated um, the weeks. I ran out of those cute Mickey stickers, so I had to use just a regular pen for the next two weeks. But then I had enough... Uh, Mickey stickers to 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 make up the the last week in November. I can't believe December the first is gonna happen in three weeks. <gasps> or is it three weeks? Let's see. One, two, three, four weeks. Yeah, I guess so. November's just started. And then we have our next section here. So again, I'm gonna have to pull out the scrapbook paper and um, pull this page. I'm going to pull the October overview, or I mean the October monthly, and then I am going to leave some pages in here because I want to finish doing this little drawing here and I want to um, draw something here. So I'm going to leave these two pages. Um, and I have to leave this page here because it has the monthly overview. So let's grab the planner that these pages come from. This is the Vertical Classic Stephanie Fleming. Um, define your passion, nurture your creativity, and take hold of your dreams planner. Ooh, I love this cover here. So first thing I'm going to do is pop in the pages where they belong and then grab the November. And I cannot believe that we are so close to the end of the year that's crazy i want to do like a a yearly flip through of all my planners at the end of the year to show you like all of the planners that i've gone through this year um i think that would be really fun i love this divider so much so we have november all set up to go here and i can pop in the bookmark where it needs to go and let's see so hmm, I'm deciding what I want to do I might have to paper clip all of these together like all these pages yeah I think it works I was afraid the paper clips wouldn't hold so many pages together but they're gonna hold and then whenever I decide I want to go back and like finish those illustrations I can just take off the paper clip and before I forget, I need to pop in my bookmark for my calendar, or I mean my academic spread. Okay, so then we have my nonprofit work here. Perfect. Beautiful. And then we have, let's see, the next section. Let me pop off the paper clips. This is my world news section. So I'm gonna pull out all these pages. Let's pull out the bookmark and then I'm going to leave this page in because it's the monthly overview and then I can paper clip this to the scrapbook paper and grab the planner that these pages came from. Let's see. Let's go to November. Ooh, look at that. Oh, whoever designed these dividers really knew what works because they're just gorgeous. They're absolutely fantastic. I would love to meet the designer team of the Happy Planner. So I'm going to pull for November. And let's see. Pop in November. Perfect love it it's gorgeous pop in the bookmark beautiful and then moving on to my fitness section i've got to pull out these pages let's see pull that out pull out the bookmark oh i have to leave this one in 
where's my rom gron? Here she is. Let's see. I'm so excited to see the divider for this one. Because I love the Ron Grong dividers. Okay, that one's cute. Okay, ponytail. Let's see, let's pop that one in. Pull for November. Aw, oh, I like that one a lot too. The December one. Pop that in. Um, paper clip. The monthly overview. And then I love that we're back to pink as well. I love the pink accents. I don't really care for the blue accents in the alternating months. So then we have my bookmark. The fitness section is all set up. And then next we have the household section. So let's take off the paper clip. I'll pull out all these pages except for the last one. So we'll pull for that one. Let's grab the planner. Flip to November. Oof, this one's super thick. I love that. So let's pull for November. Love the divider. Ooh, that one's so cute too. Can't wait for December. Pop in the month of October, where it belongs, close it up, and let's see, we're going to pull this one, uh, pull that one over, paper clip, let's see, Pop in the month of November, beautiful, and then bookmark. And ooh, we have blue accents this month, which not my favorite. I always uh, struggle with the blue accents um, because cool tones are not my preferred color. So let's see, we have November, December, and then last we have, or second to last, we have my garden planner. And because like I mentioned, um, in another video, I haven't been working in my garden planner at all because I'm moving. I'm, I got the notice to vacate my house because um, I rent my house and something came up with the house owner and they're deciding to sell the house and no longer rent it. So I have to vacate the house and so I've just been like getting ready to move and packing all my things. and. Um, deconstructing my garden because I have to leave the, the property how I found it and so that means tearing down my garden so I just haven't been gardening at all unfortunately but I can't wait to get to my new home and set up my um, and set up my new garden so um, I'm definitely gonna have in my little gardening planner like a month to two months of like absolutely nothing blank pages yeah, you can see here what that looks like. Basically the entire month of November and like half of September is blank. And probably half of November is going to be blank too. That's okay though. I had so much fun with this little planner. It's super cute. When did I even start this? Wow, like in April. Oh, I miss, I miss April. I had such a, I had such a pop in garden in April. Okay, and then the last section I'm gonna do is my budget section. I'm gonna go ahead and just get back to you because I don't want to flash all of my uh, financial information. So. And I actually have just some like uh, budget financial type stickers on the back of that scrapbook paper, the monthly overview here. And this is the divider for the month of November. I've actually already gone ahead and set this one up as well um, because at the beginning of the month, I just need to figure out what the hell is going on with my financials. So even if I haven't set up my happy planner completely, I'll go into the individual budget planner and set it up there. And then whenever it's time to set up my 
my mega happy planner i just pop over the pages here and yeah so we are all set um i have the monthly overview for the next month in here as well actually i should probably just return that to the planner uh, but these are what the pages look like when they're blank and then we just have like a notes page i have a folder with or an envelope with some receipts and things and then i have a budget folder um just in case i want to pop anything in there and then lastly i just have another um bookmark and some extra sheets of happy planner paper and i spilled coffee all over them <laughs> And that is the entire setup. We've set up our entire uh, Mega Happy Planner for the month of November. Now I have to go in and set up all of the individual months. Um, and that is always just so much fun to do. Like it does take me a while. I'll sit down and like craft for like three hours straight to set up all of the months. Um, but honestly, like I love every single minute of setting up my planners and so I don't mind it at all. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this planner setup video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!